here we have a triangle, and we need to find the perimeter of this triangle. However, we do not know the length of each side. Since the bottom line is a straight line, we can count how many units there are from one point to the other. So there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this side is seven units long. To find the length of the other side, we have to use the distance formula. The distance formula is square root of x2 times x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So if we're going to find the length of point or the segment PR. Remember, you can organize your information in a little chart to make sure that you get the values in the right spot. So I'm going to use point P first, so that's negative 1, 3, and then point R is for negative 1. So I plug in my values 4 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared. So I get 5 squared, which is 25, plus negative 4 squared, which is 16. So now I have to find the square root of 41, which is approximately 6.5. So the length of this side is 6.5. We would now use the distance formula. Exact same steps, but this time we want to find the length of PP. So same formula. But I points this time for point P. We have negative 1, 3, and point Q is negative 3, negative 1. So we would have negative 3 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared. So we get all of that the same here as square root. So we have negative 2 squared plus negative 4 squared for 4 plus 16, which is 20. And the square root of 20 is approximately 4.5. So the length of this side is 4.5. Now you have the length distances from all sides to find the perimeter. To find the area, we have to find the distance from the base to the top point. So here we would count from the bottom up one, two, three, four places. And our height would be four to use for the area. 